How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Bridge 4 Games, and today we have another High Roller Draft League match uh, that's going to be coming at you right now. So, uh, this week we are facing uh, Jazz, who's a player. He currently has a 2-4 and four record. Um, Jazz and I have actually uh, talked quite a bit this season about different things. We had a trade we were trying to work out at one point, um, which didn't work out, unfortunately, but he seems like a really cool guy. We've talked quite a bit. Uh, he's from Australia, so we are playing kind of a weird time. We're playing at 3 in the afternoon Eastern time today. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and we are going to be having a pretty fun match uh, this week. So if we take a look at uh, Jazz's team over here on the right, we can see he has Landorus Therian, Thunderous Inc or Tornadus Incarnate, uh, Corviknight, Marowak, Gourgeist, Weavile, Govantula, Galarian Zapdos, Scissor, Klefki, and Dreadnought. So he's got a very interesting team. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm not entirely sure what... Um, permutation he's bringing so we are kind of bringing a um a bit of a catch-all squad this week that'll help out with a couple different things that we may encounter so as you guys can see this week we're bringing indeedy um drift limb crooked isle uh colossal dracovish and um of course cobalion so now the reason we are using this we'll kind of dive in right now and take a quick look so I have him in order here for the team. This isn't the order I'm going to put him in um, for our little presentation here because I'm going to lay it out so it becomes more obvious what I'm trying to do here. So first off, we have Ndidi. Now, I knew I wanted some terrain this week, and Ndidi really jumped out to me right away. So Tapu Lele seemed really bad, and the reason why, it can't really touch Corviknight at all. Like, at all. Um, it doesn't have any fire moves. It has Thunder, which is, like, okay, but... It also is weak to steel, so if it was going for any sort of steel move, it's just completely, it's not worth doing it. So, I decided to use Ndidi, and the other reason I was interested in using Ndidi instead of um, Tapu Lele is for Follow Me. So, as you can see, we have Mystical Force, or Mystical Fire, ex Expanding Force, I can talk today, this is going to be a rough one, <laughs> uh, Follow Me and Protect. So, the main reason I wanted to follow me was against stuff like uh, Tornadus or Marowak. Um... I can redirect their moves away from whatever other mana I have with me. Um, so, particularly in the case of Marowak, if he goes for a Poltergeist, or even if he goes for Shadowbone, um, knowing that I'm probably going to have my seed on Driftblim Eaten, then it's not going to actually be able to do anything to Ndidi because it's also a normal type in addition to a Psychic type, which I thought was incredibly powerful. The other thing I'm interested in is I have several mons that have ground weakness, or just in general weaknesses potentially to Torna uh, to Landorus. So, like, Colossal is kind of not great there. Um, you know, Cobalion, also not great. And, like, if he's bringing a superpower or, like, Rock Slide, it can become a little awkward for Krug. It can become a little awkward for Drift Limb. So, because of that, um, we opted to kind of go for this configuration here. So that's why Ndidi is using the follow me. Now, as always, we're bringing Drift Blim. Now, Drift Blim has Will-O-Wisp, Tailwind, Strength Zap, and Icy Wind. Now, the reason we are using Tailwind and Icy Wind, um, it's very likely we're going to be battling against Tailwind here uh, ourselves because he's going to have uh, Landorus, or uh, Tornadus bringing up Tailwind with Prankster. So the way we're going to counter that is by getting up our own Tailwind and then using our Icy Wind to counteract what he's doing uh, by slowing his Mons down. Then we are still going to be at uh, plus one higher than him and under Tailwind, which will make his Mons still slower. Now, the ability to String Sap and Burn is going to be very, very helpful on things like Landorus. Um, and it has a lot of value on things like Galarian Zapdos, Dreadnought. Alolan Marowak, um, really, you know, the problem with this team is, um, facing it, rather. So on Landris, burn and strength zap is ridiculous, but if you look at, like, Galarian Zapdos, I can burn it, but I can't reduce it, because then it gets defiant. Dreadnought, I can burn it and strength zap, but that's fine. But Marowak, I can't burn it, because it's fire type. So, I decided I really needed both, and even though it's not going to do very much damage, the Icy Winds are going to be very good, so I think it's still an awesome mod to bring. Now, Krugodile. Krugodile has Fire Fang, High Horsepower, Lash Out, and Beat Up. Now, the reason we have this Mon here is because of our buddy Cobalion. We want to be able to use our Justified, and we're using Beat Up with a Choice Scarf in order to do that. Now, 
Crocodile does have max attack and no speed investment because it doesn't need it with Scarf. It actually naturally outspeeds everything on my opponent's side of the field normally anyways, which is great. And the moves are really just coverage aside from um, beat up here. Uh, so Lash Out is just very good against uh, like Gower guys. It's good against Alolan Marowak, but so is High Horsepower. <laughs> so uh, honestly, they're just dual stabs is the reason we have this configuration. And Fire Fang is to give me some options for good damage against Corviknight and against uh, Scissor, should he decide to bring that. Now, we also over here have our Colossal, and it is Weakness Policy, Meteor Beam, Steam Engine, and Heat Wave. Um, honestly, nothing all that earth-shattering here. It's very bad against um, Landorus. Um, but if he does go that route, it's not the end of the world. I think we'll be able to handle it. Um... A couple times when I was testing, I actually didn't bring um, the Surf option. I just kind of ran it out there and let him proc the policy for me, which was pretty sweet. So uh, Colossal should be a pretty good mod in this matchup. Um, just because it, it matches very well against a lot of what my opponent's doing, and it can wall some of his mods pretty nicely. Uh, now we go over to Dracovish. Uh, it's got Fish's Friend, Crunch, Psychic Fangs, and Surf. Now really, guys, I'm going to be really honest with you right now. He doesn't have very many water resists, and the ones that he does, um, like Gower guys, don't, like, matter. <laughs> uh, Fish's Ren does so much damage, and Surf is really just there to help Colossal get online should I decide to go down that route. So, really, he might as well just have two moves, but we do have Crunch and Psychic Fangs. Crunch is, um, really just against Gower Geist, and I know that's not really all that relevant, but. It, it's something, you know, it's a good move for just coverage should something go haywire with Fish's Rend. And then Psychic Fangs is if he brings Klefki and goes for a screens package, um, I have a way of removing those no muss, no fuss. And last but not least, of course, oh, uh, Dracovish is also, is also Choice Band. If we are faster than all of his mons, um, Choice Band and Fish's Rends do insane damage and will always kill a Landorus, even max max defense HP if it is Dynamaxed, if we hit first. So... That's pretty bonkers, <laughs> and just an awesome, awesome little, uh, little bit of little bit of tech I got here. Um, and lastly, that brings us to Kobalion, who is justified, and we have Shookaberry, um, basically just to help with Landorus. Um, if he does opt to bring Marowak, we have a lot of options for it to to cover it. Um, so I definitely think Landorus is a, a more likely candidate to be brought than. Um, Marowak is. I, I think it's very likely they both will be here, but I definitely think, like, if I had to pick one of the two to 100%, no matter what, come, I would definitely go for Landorus just because it is that kind of mod. So that's why we're using Chuckaberry. Um, we have Close Combat, Mounts, and Stone Edge. Um, these are kind of just various, like, um, catch all type moves here. Stone Edge, very good against uh, Tornadus. Um, Corviknight is a kind of an issue for uh, Cobalion, but it's still a very good mon Cobalion, which is why I wanted to bring it. And if Corviknight does come, we have answers. Like Dragovish can handle it pretty well, and Colossal can handle it very well, as long as it doesn't get up like a million uh, iron defenses and then um, body press us. So, yeah, that's what we have here. We also have Bounce and uh, Close Combat. Obviously, Close Combat is just one of the best moves we can have. And Bounce just lets us manipulate speed and uh, keep our guys nice, nice, and fast. And uh, Cobalion's um, boost are actually insanely good against Dreadnought also. So, yeah, we have a very good team here this week, guys. I'm very excited to use it, and uh, I think we're going to do really, really well. I'm, I'm certainly hoping. We are currently sitting at 4-2, and two, so we really need to win both of these next two matches. Next week is against Eeks TV. Um in order to win and, and make it into the playoffs. I do think X and 3 can make it, um, but I don't really want to have a loss if I can avoid it, obviously. So, um, yeah, this is the team we got this week, guys, and I am very excited to use it. And uh, we're going to be cutting over to our match in a couple minutes, but for you guys, it'll be instantaneous. So, guys, uh, sit back and get ready to enjoy uh, week 7 of the High Roller Draft League. See you guys in a minute. All right, so we connected with Jade here. All right, good. So... Uh, part of the Grookey gang, I see. It's okay, he's a good guy. We'll forgive him. Okay, participating team. Why, you came to watch? 
Oh, I didn't re-nickname this to Jade. All right, let's see what he's got. Okay, kind of what we prepped against, and actually he brought something else that I was kind of considering. So he has Torn, um, Dreadnaw, Lando, Weavile, Zapdos, and Korv. All right, so here's the thing, guys. I don't know... See, it's kind of a tricky thing, because Cobalion is actually pretty good here. Um, and so is Cole. The, the lead we're definitely going with is Driftblim and Didi. Because it's just great against, like, all of this. Um, but, th like, then what do we do, you know? Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I could go for Kruk. I, I like having Driftblim, I think. Or, sorry, Dracovish. Because Dracovish just deals damage to everything, including the stupid, um... Dreadnaw. You know, just bringing this might not be bad. I was kind of going off off plan here a little bit, but so I, I'm I'm very hesitant to bring Cole because he has three Mons that are extremely problematic for uh, Colossal, and that is Landorus, um, Dreadnaw, and uh, Zapdos because Zapdos has all these nuts fighting moves. So my instincts tell me not to bring Cole to this matchup, even though Dracovish is probably one of my strongest mons by a country mile. Interesting. wonder if he's going for a move into Driftlim. But I'm going to Tailwind. And I'm going to follow me. It's a very safe play um, just to get up our Tailwind, which is very important in this matchup. So I'd be very interested to see what he's going for here. Alright, he went for his own Tailwind. That's pretty obvious. Night Slash. Okay. Sweet. So something I was very kind of not concerned is not the right word. That is not the right word. The the word. So I'm gonna icy wind before I get off track here, which I'm probably going to. Does he go for the night slash into Indeedy again, thinking that I'm gonna go? I'm gonna bring in Cobalion because Weavile can't really do anything to either of them. And we should, given our level of investment, we should be able to take one Night Slash from uh, Weavile. And if he does go for the Night Slash into it again, oh, even better. Did Torn maybe go for, like, a Heat Wave? All right, so, you know, Weavile has Protect. Something I was legitimately kind of worried about when I was prepping for this team, I didn't really know if he would bring, um... Something like, like, a Policy Landorus with, like, procking it with, like, a Priority Ice move from Weavile. But that seems, like, you know, bad. So, like... I didn't really consider that to be on the list of options. Um, I don't want to switch Driftblim. I'm going to Icy Wind again. And I'm actually going to Max and Max Knuckle Weavile. Because <coughs> whatever comes in is either going to get slow... Okay, so it's just going to die. Unless it kills me, which could happen. But I want to get these boosts off so that I can deal with whatever comes in down the road, be it Landorus or whoever. 
Oh, and tornadoes hit hurricane, which tells me that it also probably has rain dance for dreadnought because you wouldn't bring hurricane. Yeah. Okay. I'm not really sure what he's planning to do with that, but okay. So he probably has Dreadnought in the back. And now that we slowed down Weavile, I should be able to pick up the KO with uh, Cobalion. Because it is four times weak to, to fighting. Yeah, like, cool. Where I come from, y'all, we call that no muss, no fuss. <laughs> no muss, no fuss, dead. All right. Okay. So now we got to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of these mons here. Yeah, Dreadnaw. Man, Dreadnaw has a sick shiny. I don't think I ever noticed, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um... All right, so Dreadnought is in Tailwind. Um, I could Max Guard, although I don't really think that does anything. So I'm gonna... I know that we take pretty much all hits from Dreadnought. At least one, which is all we need to take. So I'm gonna go for... What, could go for Rockfall and change the weather. I'm gonna strength sap Dreadnought and Rockfall Tornadus. So this way I get. Whoa, okay, cool. I actually like this even more now. Because now we turned off his uh, speed. Nice, okay, cool. Now, it does think that um, Drifflim is getting poked a little bit here, but it is what it is. Dreadnought has Protect. So, his Tailwind's gone, mine's gone. So, Drifflim is now the fastest thing on the field by a country mile, right? Landorus, yep. Okie dokie then. Um... Okay, so we're all in the same exact boat here. So I am naturally faster than Landorus. So I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna strength sap the Landorus. And I'm gonna knuckle the Dreadnought. My A button stopped working for a second there. I almost had a stroke. Alright, so is he going to max Landorus? I feel like that's the most logical choice here. He does, okay. Now, because of our Shookaberry, we do take infinitely, you know, attacks from Landorus, especially if it's at minus one, that's even better. Back to full. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I really hope this can KO. I'm kind of doubting it. Oh, okay. Got real close. Real close. I might have gotten a little greedy there. We'll see. Okay, he's trying to take out Drift. Okay, makes sense. So good, so freaking good. Oh my gosh. That could do it. Yeah, okay. Oh, you critted me, man. Not cool, son. Oh, okay. Dreadnought is Life Orb with Crunch. Okay, so it doesn't have another move left in it, is what I'm learning. <laughs> um, 
Boy, bring back out in Didi, obviously. So the thing is, I don't really care at all about, um, Landorus is good, obviously. I'm going to use Expanding Force. And I'm going to protect Cobalion. I have to imagine any move is going to want to go into Koba. I mean, he's at minus one, too, you know. He protected, okay. I mean, I realize I'm going to die to the sand. Okay. He is making very good plays. I gotta give him credit for that, if nothing else. So now I gotta play strategically here. I think I might also need to switch my battery real quick and my thing, too. So I'm gonna do that after this match. I'm just going to go for the rend right into Landorus, and... See, I don't want to close combat, because it makes Landorus easier to, to deal with me here, so... I'm going to have to go for the Stone Edge into Dreadnought. He knows I have a Rock-type move already. Quake. So he's going for that into Draco. Yeah, okay. Raising a special, that doesn't matter, thank God. Okay. Oh, because the boost. Durr. That's how it's faster. Okay. Oh, so now we get the bolt moves off into uh, Landorus. I did pretty good damage, I must say. Oh, cool, we just kill him. Okay. Well, we also take those, don't we? <laughs> okay, so we know it had... Oh, it, had... it went for uh, Rock Slide. So, we are back. Fix the controller, change the batteries. Holy cow, that was a nightmare and a half. All right. Whew. All right, so Jade is picking his team. Okay, so he's got we got the same group of mons here. Um, whoo! <laughs> All right, so here's the thing. I we saw a lot of my opponent's team. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, I don't really know if he, if there's any reason for us to change anything up. The only thing I'd be worried about is the Corviknight, which, you know, it's worrisome, but, like, I can handle a lot of it with what we have. <coughs> okay, here's the thing. Let, let's, let's think about it. Let's pray about this. All right, so, I got 30 seconds, 37 seconds. Plenty of time to pray. All right, so... Drift Limb is so good against, like, controlling the speed, handling most of his offensive mods. And Didi was very good at just letting me get set up. So I don't see any reason not to bring the same initial configuration that we had as before. Now, going forward, Kobalion is really good here. Even though it's not great against Landorus, it's quite good. And so is Dracovish, as we saw. I don't see any reason to change things up right now. If we lose, I'm going to switch things up probably at least a little bit, but um, presently, I don't see any reason to go too uh, crazy with this, because, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? And this team obviously ain't broke. It did very well against my opponent. Um, we didn't get to see too much out of Weavile. I'm a little upset about that, because I really do want to know exactly what it's packing. Landorus Corv. Okay, he brought the Corviknight.
All right, boys, this is Operation Sling Burns. I really want to know what that Corviknight is going to go for, but I'm not too worried right now. I'm going to I'm gonna expanding... Uh, no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to expanding force for Landorus. And I'm going to attempt to Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp Landorus. Okay, good. We got a burn. Here's where I want to see if it's Lumberry. I'm thinking that's at least a possibility based on some of the stuff we were seeing. Not Lumberry. Okay. Take it like a champ. Good lord, they did so much on Landorus. Iron Defense. Okay. So this is, this is somewhat what we were worried about. Okay, so Corv has Iron Defense Leftovers. Lando has Rock Slide. Item Unknown. Okay. I'm an Expanding Force again. And I'm going to Will-O-Wisp on the Corviknight. Okay. I ain't counting my chickens before they hatch, man. Not, not a chance in hell. Alright. That's gonna do a good amount to Indeedy. Not a ton. Does Weavile come in? I mean, that feels random, but not impossible. I can't... God, the stupid... I hate this, um... Game terrain... Just because, like, it looks like it's sunny, even though I know it's not. <laughs> like, what, what a pain in the butt. All right, so it's not going to affect Weavile. It is going to affect um, Corv, though. All right, so it's going for another Iron Defense. All right, so... I need to take this thing out. Um, I'm going to Mystical Fire it. See, now the problem is he's so high, I'm going to have trouble killing it um, with, with any comp. Um, but I am going to go for a Tailwind. So I, on the following turn, we have Draco coming in at full pop. Okay, good. That's pretty much what I wanted. Not exactly, but, you know, we'll, we'll take that. Yeah, that reduces Ndidi's special attack, which is okay. Yeah, it's got Roost. Okay. I really wish I had brought Haze. I don't really know how I deal with this thing now. Um, I need see. Like, I need to switch in, but I'm gonna bring Kobali on. And then I'm going to Will O Wisp the Weavile. I haven't seen Body Press, even though that seems like the obvious move. If he calls that right and just goes for the Kobalion slot, he could win this one right out. Um. Oh, okay. Landorus, okay. Interesting. That was a very good read on his part, I must say. Okay, so he's now at plus a million. Uh 
Oh my god, I hate Corviknight, I hate Corviknight, I hate Corviknight, I hate Corviknight, I've always hated Corviknight. Um... <laughs> I need to bait out a move, so I'm going to switch in Ndidi, and I'm going to Icy Wind, his team. If he does somehow manage to get rid of Drift Blam, what the way I'm going to win this is I need to double up into Corviknight in one turn and hit it with both moves right off the bat. I gotta see how much my Landorus is gonna do to a Corviknight with plus six defense. He asked me if I'm running Surf on Dracovish. Why would I tell him that? Why would I ever tell him that? So I expect us to get stomped by Body Press. Kill the Landorus. It's not going to drop the speed of Corviknight. But it does get us, you know, comfortable here. There's almost nothing to Drift Blim. That's the way I like it. down. I'm trying to see... Okay, um, sorry guys, I was kind of in, in the zone there. Um, oh, this stinks. All right, I'm gonna bring Cobalion. Now, I feel like he really wants to get speed control up. I need a Dynamax, and... I need to knuckle the Corviknight. And then I need to switch Drift Blim into Draco Vish. So I can get an attack boost on Draco. And then we're fighting a bit of an uphill battle here, but... You know, it kind of is what it is. Yes, I know, Kitty. This is not a good situation for us. I'm aware. Thank you. So I know if we're max, we can take a hit from a body press. Um, probably not two, you know. So he's tailwinding with Tornadus, definitely. Yeah, okay. We still move first, which is good. It did nothing, but it's not really what we were going for, so that doesn't really matter. Which may sound strange, but... Power trip. All right, so we need to knuckle the corve and fish is rend the corve. Tornadus is not relevant anymore. 
Like, this is where we mount our defense. He could go for a Landorus, which is fine, because then we just kill him with Dracovish. I really was impressed how little that, that power trip actually did. It has to be Landorus, yeah, okay. I mean, that's okay. We're going back down to neutral here. That's fine, you know? We lived it. Hell yeah. Okay, because he's let his tailwind. Well, it's doing enough. That's the important thing here. How many turns of wind does he have left? Two? I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna knuckle... Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Let me think. Let me think about this. I just gotta knuckle the Corv. No, God, it's so bad, though. And then I ran the Corv, and then we deal with Landorus later. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay, cool. Alright, so it goes for the Roost. Um, that's nice. That's nice in concept. We really need to wait out the last turn of Tailwind. So Draco being at plus three is pretty nice. Not quite. Not quite a crit. If Landorus could, like, die here, which it's not going to, of course, but if it could, that would have been sweet. Um, I need to protect Kobalion, and then... Probably gonna roost. I need to fish this Ren Valandarus to get rid of it. Because I just need to have my Mons be slower. Or I need his Mons to be slower than mine for when Tailwind is gone. So I can really capitalize on the Rens. We could be going for an EQ. That seems questionable. Yeah, it doesn't do much damage, but it doesn't really matter. That's not the point. Although, whatever comes in is taking a full pop rend, assuming that he went for the body press into Koba. Tornadus, okay. Please. That was not what I needed to have happen. Okay. Ah! Well, alright, so... Okay. I think any chance of us winning kind of just went out the window right there. Um, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Stone Edge is neutral. Close Combat is neutral. I'm going to go for the Close Combat into Corviknight. And I'm going to attempt... I'm going to attempt a Tailwind. I don't think it's going to ha work out the way I want it to, though. Oh. Close. No cigar. All right. He 
Yeah, this is the problem. I just don't know how we win. Like, that was our only shot, was to hope that he, you know... I really need to get the KO there, and we weren't able to, unfortunately. So, we go for the Stone Edge on Tornadus, and... Oh, God, I can only Icy Wind. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! All right, um... Well, it's going to be good to know this calc about... Oh, Corbinet roosted again. Okay. Okay, so no Tornadus to Sash. That was actually good. We picked up more info. Yeah, he gets slower, that doesn't matter at all. He's that freaking full, like... What do I do against this? Like... <laughs> and, and just, like, mirror armor is just so, like, randomly, stupidly irritating, like... Ugh! And so gross, so gross. Uh, I'm going to Stone Edge the Weavile. And I'm going to Icy win. Three minutes left. Yeah, if I can stall... Like, I don't want to use the word stall. But if I can, you know, uh, selectively delay the last few, you know, turns here. Can I take this? No, I can't. Not even... Oh, wait, I lived. I did live. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This game is interesting. It's, it's really frustrating because because Drifloom keeps getting slower. You know, the more like time I just have to like spend not doing anything. All right, shook off the taunt, and now he's got Landorus. Protect. And my attempt to strength zap Landorus. Because the way the way I actually win this is if we go down to time. Please miss. Please miss. Please somehow live this. Okay, no, we don't. All right, never mind. I was gonna say if we somehow can go to time, right? I would win on the HP. Oh, he just doubled into uh, Drift. Okay. Yeah, the only way I could have won there was stalling that out, but I it, it didn't get there, obviously, so... And Landorus lived anyways. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I lose either way, so... Uh... Close combat! <laughs> When in doubt, pinky out. All right. Okay, so Landris is fly. All right, so we need answers for Corv. Like, yesterday. <laughs> um, oh, boy. Okay, that was a little bit of the awkward sauce there. Um... All right, I got to think of a plan here for what I do. Play the same rules. All right, so 
yeah, that was interesting. Um, like obviously we knew Corviknight was kind of a a like disastrous situation for my team. Um, he didn't bring Dreadnought either because he brought Thing instead. Um, Cobalion is so good; it just gets wrecked so hard by like random shit. Um, do I like not bring in Didi? Okay, so he brings Landorus. <sighs> Taunt is such a pain. I'm going Cold Draco. I don't think he has any good answers for it. Even Landorus isn't that great. And I'm going to bring Drifblim and Cobalion in the back. Cobalion presents enough threats by itself where it's a very solid Mon here. Drifblim does not need the speed boost of the uh, Psychic Seed to uh, work. Believe it or not, it seems odd, but... The special defense boost doesn't really matter that much here anyways. It really just needs to sit there and be irritating. So, let's see what he goes for here. I don't really want to see a Landorus, but he did bring it. Okay. So even at minus one, this should still do quite a lot. I don't think he's going to pass up the opportunity to kill a Colossal. So that's why I'm going to switch in Drift Flame. He's probably going to throw a ground move into it. He could do a Max Quake, which would make a fair bit of sense, I think. <clears throat> yep, okay, he went for the Max Quake. Which is awesome, because we denied him a turn. So his move was Tailwind, Max Quake. And we were able to deny him that with a switch, which is nice. Oh! You dog! You're running something different than I thought. Okay. Interesting. Okay, then. Sunny Jim. I'm going to think for a second here. Icy Wind, because he's probably going to go for the Taunt. Um, and then... I'm going to actually just Rend again into Landorus. Yep. Which is fine. Like he, I think he's going to go for the Rockfall. Oh, he went for the Quake. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. Okay, so now I gotta think of the plan here for what I wanna do. I'm gonna switch in Colossal. Now the question is what do I do with it? <laughs> That's that is always the operative question, right? I'm 
I'm going to Icy Wind, and then I'm actually going to Dynamax and Max Guard Colossal. Because I don't think he's going to miss... I don't think he's going to pass up an opportunity to deal with it, you know, right off the bat. Oh, this game is tough. And then next turn, if he goes for a max or just like an earthquake, that buys us. Uh, it's going to do a lot of damage, but it will activate our policies, so it'll make us really, really strong on the following turn, which is just what I want. Randy. What? Okay, so he probably has Dreadnought in the back then. That is ever so apparent now. I mean, he's making good reads. I gotta tell him, I gotta be honest, he's making good moves. Here's the hard part. He pretty clearly wants to switch. I think he has to get Tornadus out of here, right? Or Landorus. I'm going to max Overgrowth into Tornadus, expecting a switch in from... Son of a bitch! Please don't die, please don't die. Fuck! Okay. That's okay. Oh my god, I can't believe how much damage that does. Ugh! Okay. It's okay. Still KO'd it, ironically enough. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. His tail and Peter down, right? It's now ringing our Cobalion. He's obviously got Dreadnought. Super duper tough. Um, all right, so all the moves are neutral. I'm gonna CC Landris because I know we are faster. And I mean, the question is, does he go for it? Or does he protect? I feel like he protects. So I'm actually going to Overgrowth. That, guys, is step one, how we don't lose this game. Step two, three, and four are still on the way. <laughs> Should still do quite a lot. Um, or Oko it, you know, I mean, it can do that, you know. Oh. This has been a game, guys. Holy schmoligans. Excuse me while I recover my heart. Corviknights. Okay. A neutral body press should not be able to just take me out, right? So, I'm going to Stone Edge Corv 
And oh, how many turns of rain are left? Oh god, stop, stop, everything is falling. Okay. Two turns of rain. I'm a Stone Edge Corv. Oh god, everything is bad. Everything stinks. I'm gonna actually go for the Meteor Beam on Corviknight. Could be going for an Iron Defense. Yeah, he is. Okay, cool. So the Meteor Beam is gonna actually let us get plus one special attack, which we pretty desperately need in this situation. This is gonna be a hard game, guys. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. <laughs> oh my god, we missed. Why? Why did we miss? Oh. Because, like, of course we did, right? Well, we get a big meteor beam off here, which is nice. Okay, the rain stopped. So now our solar beam, or our uh, heat wave, is going to be rather strong. Yo, I am like, I am so beyond nervous right now. And we go for the heat wave. By the way, Mike's suggestion of when he sees a Corviknight, when I see a Corviknight, just blindly go for the heat wave, or blindly go for the meteor beam, was is seeming like pretty good tech. Please don't let this KO. Oh! We lived. Well, guys, uh, we won. But by the grace of God. So, guys, thank you so much for being with me through this insanely crazy matchup. Um, you know, guys, that was really intense. Good GG's to Jade. He played extremely well, given what I, I brought here. So, guys, that's the matchup we got for you. Um, thank you guys so, so much for being here with us today for this insane matchup. Uh, we are going to have uh, the first round of the um, playoffs for the Kanto Classic coming up later on today as well. So we're going to go ahead and get that action coming at you probably tomorrow once we get it all edited and ready. So guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm still recovering from that battle. But guys, uh, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Thank you so much for being a part of the Bridge 4 crew. And guys, if you like this kind of content, please make sure that you like this video. And if you want to join the Bridge 4 crew, subscribe to the channel because... It doesn't cost you anything. You never miss any of our videos, and it helps us so much more than you could ever understand. So, guys, it's been a wonderful time here with us. We got a win. We are now 5-2 and two in the league, which is fantastic. And, guys, we will see you in the next video. So thank you so much, and we'll see you guys around. Bye-bye.